Hello. I have a few journals that I have been working on. Uh, these first three are made from vintage uh, photo albums from the late 1800s. And the insides were falling apart. So I decided let's repurpose them. So um, let me show you one by one what these little cuties look like. Um, this is a, a hardcover that um, I'm not, I'm pretty sure this exterior part right here is celluloid. Um, it's got some rough edges, as you would expect, something that old. And the binding was shot, so I put some uh, upholstery fabric on the binding to secure that. And then inside in the opening page, I put one of the frames that was um, part of the album. And I believe I put one in the back. Yeah, there's one in the back also. Now, this one measures five and a half by four and a half and the spine is an inch and a half and it has 240 pages and it just has um, a few a few that are print outs the majority of them are coffee and tea dyed papers that I put in here and occasionally I put some of my um, eco dyed papers but it's totally blank and there's going to be a package of authentic ephemera that you'll be able to use in here with a few other pieces that may not be so authentic <laughs> replicas but the majority will be authentic um, ephemera that I put in here. So you can see you can see everything here is coffee or tea dyed and ready for you to write or glue or draw. I prefer leaving these what I call them sort of naked and including the fun stuff so that you can play with it and make it your own instead of just looking at something that's already completed and going oh my goodness that's so pretty I don't want to touch it no 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 we want you to touch it <laughs> lots of pages as you can see so it's just more of all the same and that's a total of uh, 240 pages. And this does close. Kind of cute. All right. This one. This one is pretty cute. Now, it was. it's really raggedy. It's fallen apart. I could have put a whole other um, spine on it. But I just thought it was so cute just the way it was. I didn't want to cover it so what I did is I did all the reinforcing from the inside so it's still kind of delicate but even if the whole thing falls apart it won't fall apart because it's been reinforced from the inside. Okay so this one also closes and the dimensions on this one is five inches by three and a half inches by an inch and a half and there's a hundred and sixty pages this one has the same types of papers as the other one so I won't bore you with all of that but you can see it is Pretty much, I resourced all the same papers into this one. Okay. And 
um, I did not put in the frames, but I'm going to include a few of them in case you want to use them in there one way or another, whether it's inside or tearing them apart and using them part of the decoration of the book. Okay, so that's that one. And then this one, this one is eight and a half by six and a half by an inch and a half. Now the back of this one was in bad shape, so I've covered it up with some tissue paper so that it looks a little bit better. <laughs> I did it kind of sort of like we did on the um, on the workshop that we redid all these um, album covers, except um, in that one I put it in the front and this one I put it in the back. If you saw them, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right. So this here is, it is not a real cabinet card. It is just a picture of one. Um, and I just slid it in there on a piece of cardstock in case you want to put your own um, photographs in here. All right. And I was afraid to put the cabinet card in there. Those of you that have touched these, you know that once you get those real cabinet cards, because they're so thick, it starts to tear everything. So I didn't want to do that needlessly. Um, there's 200 pages in this one. And again, a lot of these papers are from um, the, the same source that I put into the small ones. Lots of coffee, tea dyed, and occasionally a print, and then my eco prints, and so on and so forth. So if you, oh, and then there's another one back here. This is also printed out, but um, if you see my other journals, you know the papers that I put in there. And of course, I always put a packet of goodies for you to play with. Okay, so that's that one. Then um, I've been asked to make some more of my no guilt uh, glue books. Those uh, are what I call these books. I get old book covers that the insides are falling apart and then I just turn them into a glue book. They're nothing fancy, they're nothing pretty. And that way you have no guilt whatsoever when it comes to using these. So these are various, whoops, let me put this back in here. These are all various sizes. Um, this one's about four and a half. I think this is the smallest one. Four and a half by seven. And it's just ready for you to do whatever you do. I personally, I glue. <laughs> so it is ready. Has a few little flip outs. We got print outs, wallpaper, ledger paper, music paper, whatever you can think of. It's in here, ready for you to use. Okay, so that's that one. This one's a little bit bigger. And when I list them, I'm going to be listing them with the abbreviation of their names. I'll probably put this one American Wives. Okay, this is five by seven and a half. This will be listed as Steps in English. And again, ready for you to glue whatever it is you do. I didn't mean to rhyme that, but, you know, it's early. <laughs> Too early for me. Okay, so there's that one. This one is our English as opposed to steps in English. Don't get confused now. Seven, a little over seven by a little over five. And I think almost all of these have three signatures. <clears throat> 
And I've left some of that writing. I think that's the cool part of these books. And again, same same configuration of these glue books. They're all going to be the same. This is Gilman's historical or hysterical, I don't know which, readers. Seven by a little about five and a quarter. Again. You've seen this before. Okay. Rupert. What a name. Five by seven and a half. You don't hear that name anymore. Rupert. Maybe in other countries. I'm talking about the United States. Very rarely. And then if you do, they're probably from England. <laughs> Same, 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 I think there's like, in all of these, I think there's something like anywhere from 160 to 200 pages. Whoops. Hello. Okay. Barnaby. We're going to call this Barnaby. Seven and a half by five. All right. So, blah, 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 very exciting. I tell you, no guilt, right? You do whatever you want in these. These are pretty popular because people want to use their books, but they don't want to use up the pretty ones, and they don't want to mess up the expensive ones, and blah, blah, blah. So, along with these, with the glue books, is going to be a nice big chunk of all kinds of stuff. It's got books and magazines and ephemera and leftovers of printouts and maps and uh, stuff. So that's going to come with each one of these. And then there's going to be a, a package, uh, I haven't put it together yet, of authentic ephemera that will go with these um, that were made from the albums. <sighs> okay, long video. Sorry about that. Lots of stuff to show you. But these will all be in the shop. And as always, they need a new home. I want it to be yours. <laughs> Please. Please let it be yours. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you.